Hayes, president of Regis College. And it really is my great pleasure and privilege to be here today in Northern Essex Community College's spectacular Allied Health Building in downtown Warren. It's a pleasure to be here with President Lane Glenn, which I always mix up and say the wrong way. My own family does. And, <laughs> and uh, Mayor Dan Rivera, um, partners in crime as we move this project forward. Together, we are launching Regis North and Warrens, a satellite campus of Regis, Regis' first official satellite campus. And Regis, as you know, is a leading Catholic university in Greater Boston. And this is a great initiative for our Institute for Advancing Studies in collaboration with NEC and the city of Lawrence. I welcome all of you to this event and to the perspective of Regis North as adding to the vision of the mayor and of, of, of President Glenn, the vision of Regis to Lawrence, whose historic panorama can be seen from this beautiful conference room. I'd like to welcome June Black, Director, D District Director in the Office of Congresswoman Nikki Songus. From the Office of Congresswoman Catherine Clark. <laughs> State Senator Barbara Letalian and State Representative Frank Moran. and Bill Malora and Alicia Miller, members of the Mayor's Health Task Force Executive Committee. <laughs> you may ask, why so much excitement over a bachelor's degree completion program? Well, just so you know, Regis has founders of the sister, with, with the Sisters of St. Joseph. And we just like to say that Regis is about something more. It's about the quality that goes beyond the rite of passage, Dan, toward welcoming all and practicing excellence tempered by gentleness. Regis is here to stake a claim on the future of Lawrence with our partners at NEC and the mayor's office. Many partners come to Lawrence and to NEC, but Regis North begins a more substantial and collaborative claim to be here on site and for the long term. For over 80 years, Regis has served generations of multicultural first-generation students. We see great potential in the residents of Lawrence, and truth be told, we are already connected. You would not believe the connection, <laughs> <laughs> including <coughs> President Glenn's wife is a Regis alum. <laughs> Some of our Regis alums from the Lawrence area are here today to celebrate with us, and so is Ed Travis. Where are you, Ed? Ed is the Director of Nursing at the Greater Lawrence Health Center. He graduated from our master's program and is now currently a student at Regis in our doctoral program. One of our nurse practitioner faculty already functions as a school nurse practitioner at Lawrence Catholic, Emily Nichols. Emily? She's here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nursing is a Regis flagship of excellence. And for the third time since 2008, the National League for Nursing has recognized Regis as a center of excellence in nursing education. So Regis North starts in Lawrence by offering bachelor's degree courses and programs in nursing and public health. Our program in nursing at NEC will require a minor in public health because we are interested in strengthening the health of the whole community, not just individuals. One excellence, one, one excellence draws another as student demand increases, we are planning to offer other programs in the health sciences. I won't even name what the possibilities are because they're, they're open to the needs assessment that we plan to do over the next several months as we meet with various constituents of the community of Lawrence to learn what some of the needs are. And in partnership with NEC, we will start to find ways to meet those needs. Regis North will contribute to the common good in the region by improving the overall quality, strength, and the diversity of the healthcare workforce, and by connecting people of Lawrence, Greater Lawrence to more educational and economic opportunities. That is wonderfully and substantially exciting news. 
We are, I think, all aware that the success of this gateway city, an ethnically diverse community that falls well below statewide average poverty and higher education levels, is a key driver in the success of the Commonwealth. As NEC will under well understands, education is the primary avenue to social change, and Beavis North will provide local access to marketable degrees in high demand, well-paying healthcare careers for the people of Lawrence. With warm regard, then, may I introduce NEC President, Dr. Lane Glenn. Thank you. Thanks very much, President Hayes. Um, what an exciting time to be here yeah, doing this. Uh, I have some remarks that I'll make about Northern Essex and Regis, but it occurs to me as I was sitting and listening to President Hayes and sitting next to Mayor Rivera, this is part of a tidal wave of good news in this city, isn't it? Yes. I mean, really. The public school is on an upswing. The city and the Mayor's Health Task Force, Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, only one of eight recipients in the entire country for this work that we're doing. The Lawrence Partnership announces a million dollar venture loan fund for small and mid-sized businesses a couple weeks ago. I could go on or just read Rumble, right, Dahlia? <laughs> There's so much good stuff happening in this city. Uh, everyone in this room is a part of that, and, and if you haven't been yet, you're here today because you're going to be a part of that, so thank you very much. Um, President Hayes, thank you for that. On the surface, it might seem like Northern Essex Community College a public two-year community college uh, in Regis, uh, a private Catholic university, may seem to be very different, but in reality, as you heard President Hayes describe, we have a lot of things in common. We really do. Both of our colleges are committed to serving first-generation students, multicultural students, uh, students who traditionally uh, might have a difficult time gaining access to a college education. About half of our students at Northern Essex, 44%, uh, are first-generation students. Uh, about a third of our students, 37%, uh, is Hispanic. Uh, our college, like Regis, is dedicated to providing all of those students uh, with a high quality education. To give you a little bit of history uh, about where we've been with health programs uh, in, in this city, um, our, our health care programs have been located in Lawrence since 1991 when we established our first permanent campus presence here, what is now the Dimitri Building, uh, not too far away. Some of our health care programs have remained constant over the years, certainly nursing is one of those, radiologic technology, uh, respiratory therapy, uh, dental assisting. Uh, and, as you heard President Hayes describe, as employer needs and workforce needs have changed, uh, we've added to those programs. So some of our newer programs include things like ophthalmic technology, sleep technology, medical lab technology, and we'll continue to improve and expand and add uh, as we need to. We now have 24 associate and certificate degrees in different healthcare fields, about one out of every four students at Northern Essex Community College, and that's close to 7,000 students, about one out of every four students is enrolled in some kind of health care program. Uh, the job prospects for these students uh, are extremely good. Uh, the placement rate overall in our health care programs is 93%, and in some of them, it's 100%. Uh, we're pleased to be able to provide those kinds of job opportunities to residents, not only of Lawrence, but of surrounding communities as well. Uh, we're very proud of our health care programs and that history. What was missing, up until now anyway, was the opportunity to complete uh, a bachelor's level uh, health care program here in downtown Lawrence. And this is very exciting for that reason. A certificate or an associate degree certainly opens doors. We know that, our students do go to work. Uh, and we also know that a bachelor's degree will open even more doors and even more economic opportunity. Um, the pursuit of a bachelor's degree in this city is particularly important. Uh, as many of you know, uh, the uh, adult educational attainment rate uh, here in Lawrence is 11%. Uh, we're tied uh, for the lowest in the state with a couple of other communities. Um, that's a problem, it's a challenge, it's also an opportunity. And that's why we're doing this, because that is a wonderful opportunity. Uh, this partnership uh, among Northern Essex Community College, Regis, uh, and the city will help raise that educational attainment rate and provide even more uh, economic opportunity. So a student could complete a certificate in practical nursing, and then while working in the field, pursue an associate's degree in nursing, uh, and then after earning that associate's degree, transfer into Regis North, I love the sound of that, uh, and a bachelor's degree uh, in nursing. So partnering with uh, Regis, we've created a seamless process for gaining access to higher education. Now, as you mentioned, as you heard President Hayes mention, there's a, there's a personal dimension to this as well. Um, I, I knew from our very first meeting with the staff from Regis more than a year ago uh, that this would be a, a partnership that would come together and create some wonderful possibilities for the community. Um, there's a spirit about Regis College uh, it's faculty, it's staff, it's students, and, and that spirit, I think, is what, what draws us together this way. 
It's a spirit of compassion uh, and service. It's a spirit of scholarship uh, and accomplishment. And it's a spirit that I've come to know quite well. As President Hayes mentioned, my wife, Margaret, who's here with us today, is a proud Regis alum, class of 1990. Uh, and that spirit uh, is there in her, and it's in every Regis grad uh, that I've met, and I've met many of them. Uh, so I'm very excited about this partnership, uh, what it means for the city of Lawrence. It's been richly rewarding working with President Hayes and Mayor Rivera on this initiative. Thank you all for being here, and keep a close eye on this, because there's a lot of exciting things still to come. And now I have the pleasure to call up our dear friend and partner, Honorable Dan Rivera, Mayor of Lawrence, who is the welcoming of Regis Moore. Good morning. Um, I have to start by, uh, by saying that when I first met President Hayes and we started talking about this, we went through had an hour-long meeting, we went through the whole conversation. Um, and I thought she had come to talk to me about uh, a satellite place where they could just come and kind of give classes. So at the end, this is really go to 50 minutes of this conversation, and I'm kind of going to go over. She's like, no, we're serious. We want to come up here. We're not, you know, we want to try to get accreditation. We're trying to do, you know, and actually have a satellite campus for bachelor completion. And I don't know if Abel was in the room. I can tell the director. We were kind of like, oh, this is different. Uh, we have great partners that are doing great things. We have Suffolk University, um, Cambridge College, um, a lot of folks like that. And so we do have a lot of great um, folks that are doing work in the city, but this is different. Um, and for us, it's really great to do this. Um, you know, I don't think you can thank friends enough. Um, I know in the room, State Representative um, Frank Moran is with us, and he's helping us making sure our streets are safe every day by bringing us uh, some dollars from the State House. So thank you, Frank, for all you do. You know, you mentioned the Lawrence Partnership and the million dollars, but what, what, what uh, President Glenn um, didn't mention is that he's the, the chair of that organization, and keeping all those cats corralled is not easy when business tries to have conversations about what's good for Lawrence. So thank you for the leadership of the partnership, not only uh, not only for the leadership of the college, but also in the, in the partnership. So thanks for what you're doing, President Glenn. That's applause. <laughs> We did mention the, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Um, it's funny because it's like, it's a $25,000 grant. Um, <laughs> but when the people at Johnson & Johnson's Foundation decide that what you're doing in your community is really great uh, for pushing the envelope of how you provide um, health care and how you create a healthy community, um, and you're only eight people in the whole country, they, they, they ferry you off to Princeton uh, to, to herald you in front of everybody. It's a great deal. So the Mayor's Hotel Task Force for us is a really big deal. And what I learned from my, my move there was that we have to rethink the way we're doing uh, human, human services in the city of Lawrence, but we couldn't have done that without the leadership of Bill Melora and the Minnesota Task Force. So all the friends in the audience, I know Father Paul O'Brien from St. Patrick Parish is here, along with Jorge Hernandez, who's the principal at Lawrence Catholic Academy. Um, I, uh, so thanks for being here, you guys, but the Sisters of St. Joe's, that connection, um, I married into uh, a very, very Catholic family, and um, one of the we have a lot of sisters and, and, and priests at the table at Thanksgiving. Something that's new for me. Um, <laughs> sister, <laughs> sister Colada was one of them, and Sister Colada is a sister from St. Joe's. Um, so I have that connection. If I don't do, like many kids who went to Catholic school, I didn't. If I don't take do what I'm supposed to do, the Sister Colada will make sure that I uh, get in line. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big deal for us. Um, you know, we, we dream of a time where, you know, a single mom who lives on Park Street can walk down um, after having completed high school, can walk down here, sign up for college, um, work full time, get her, uh, get her, her, um, her, her associates, work nights, and get her, and get her bachelor's. Walk over to the Lawrence General Hospital, apply for a job, and be in nursing like that. Now, that sounds really easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> we know that that would be over time, and that's there. But that's the experience that we have here. We have a lot of people that are um, living the life in Lawrence with very small needs, uh, uh, means, but very large needs. And I think that when we think about these partnerships, it's again, it's how do you make these paths in our city of immigrants that we will always have 
people coming into our community at the very lowest level, um, looking for the lowest paying jobs. How do you get that pathway really clear so that um, after the Dominicans stop coming and after the Guatemalans stop coming, and people next it's going to be the Czechoslovakians or the Syrians, that we always have this pathway. Hey, if you come to Lawrence with your strong accent and your kids, you can find a place to live, you're going to find a, a piece of work to do, you can send your kids to a good public school, and then from there, you, the, your kids can bring your, bring your family to the, the American dream. And that for me is very critical. Regis is a capstone clearly in that pathway. And as we look for economic development, we're going after eds and meds. So having more schools, having more pu higher public higher ed, and if we didn't have such a big cheerleader uh, in Lane Glen and bringing more higher education to Lawrence, try to really make Lawrence a college town, um, we would be uh, at ground zero. So I'm sure this is one of many announcements we're gonna make with Northern S Community College. But eds and meds, uh, as we look into the future, uh, they call it the silver tsunami. All those folks who are older, older than 50, I apologize. <laughs> but at some point, the baby boomers are gonna retire. Um, and their healthcare needs are going to go through the roof. So well, the infrastructure for healthcare is always going to be there. It's one of those recession-proof uh, job categories. So we're glad that we're in that mix because that makes Lawrence a player in this game. Um, again, when I was in Princeton, I, I got to say that I'm Dan Rivera, I'm the, the, uh, the proud mayor of the city of Lawrence because of, of the work that Mayor Sol Task Force does. And today I'm the proud mayor of the city of Lawrence because of this partnership with Regis College. And I can't thank um, President Hayes and the Board of Trustees for taking a chance, taking a risk, um, and we want to make sure that we make them proud. And we say that to anybody who supports things that are going on in Lawrence, we will make you proud if you put the investment in Lawrence, and we will not let you down. So thank you so much, and welcome. Do we get a welcome hug? Is that how it works? <laughs>
So in May of 2015, I graduated from the Associate's Review Program here at Northern Essex, and um, I received my license this past August, which was very exciting. And I couldn't have done it without the great teachers here at Northern Essex. And there's an old adage that says, the timing is everything. And this is how, when I graduated, it was about the time that Regis and Northern Essex got together. So I thought this was a great opportunity for me to continue my education, get my BSN, and I'm very excited to be doing this with Regis. We're thrilled to have you with us. <laughs> of the Regis North Project. We started classes this past fall, uh, as a set, of, as an off-site, until we could have full accreditation such that we could launch it as a full satellite program now. And uh, so we actually started this past semester with 10 students in our Regis North classes. So we're very proud of all of you. And I have a picture of all of you holding the Regis <laughs> bottles, the, the water bottles um, that went all over, it went viral all over the Regis <laughs> campus in Weston. So, uh, and this will be viral as well because we need you to know that you're very much a part of the Regis family now too. So now, I would like to uh, start to think about uh, how we would end this event today, but it's never an end. This is only the beginning of a wonderful partnership and a wonderful opportunity to get to know many of you here in the city of Lawrence. And I, may, I plan on wearing out quite a few pair of shoes as I make my way around the community to get to know all of you. Before I open the conversation for the media and for any questions, I just wanted to remind you that if you're parked at the Buckley uh, parking lot, Please get your parking tickets, tickets stamped before you leave at the, uh, the next safety office. All right, so that's, can I take care of that duty? <laughs> okay. And um, now, <laughs> uh, President Glenn and, and Mayor Vera, Rivera and myself will be here at the, the table to answer <coughs> any questions. Can I just say something? I, I think that the <laughs> this has less to do with partnership, but I think it talks about this whole idea of new beginnings. Um, for a very long time, we've tried to stop people from calling the ECC NECO. And I think President Hayes has started this new trend, NEC, right? I mean, I was like, she keeps saying NEC. And I'm like, she's talking about NECO. <laughs> Isn't it great to have new people in your family that yeah, they maybe refocus us from NECO? Thank you. So we'll be happy to answer questions if uh, anyone from the media has any questions or anybody else in the room. Or there's pastries out in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly don't ever hesitate to contact any one of us. We'd be happy to talk to you, um, talk to you um, after this particular presentation or even later. I invite you to come visit us in, on the Western campus as well. For the members of the media who are here, there are a couple of names that didn't get mentioned so far. I will point out that one of our members of our Board of Trustees is here, Mary Ann Bailey Nadell, also the owner and uh, operator of the Everett Mills, uh, and the person who at Northern Essex Community College has done a considerable amount to spearhead this effort for us, uh, Dr. Noemi Custodia Laura is standing over here. So. And from the City of Lawrence, I think our Planning Director, Teresa Parks, is here, and our Economic Development Director, Eva Vargas. Um, and Jim Barnes Bar was here earlier too. So our development team, because we see this um, not only as expansion of education, but really economic development. And I'd like to also hear from Representative Demers' office. Yes, oh yeah. I would also like to acknowledge some of the people that are here from Regis College, besides Emily, who is our nurse over at Florence Catholic, um, is uh, Dr. Penny Glenn, who is our Dean of the School of Nursing and, and Health Sciences, uh, Claudia Porovellis, who is our Associate Dean for Graduate Affairs and who has been leading the, um, the Institute for Advancing Studies under her direction, and now David Gilmore, who is now the Associate Dean for our Institute for Advancing Studies within which Northern Essex and the Regis North Project will, will be coming under that umbrella. And Caitlin Anderson, who has been with us 
uh, advising students and involved in the enrollment of our first class. And then my special assistant, Mary Jane Doherty, who has been the big PR person around all of this and done a lot of work in that area, and the vice president, I'm sorry, everyone, the whole team, um, vice president for academic affairs, Mal Dr. Malcolm Acevedo from Regis, uh, vice president for enrollment management and marketing, uh, Paul Vaccaro, and Kate Suppo. Sutherland, who is our uh, project manager, who has worked very closely with Naomi uh, to actually make this all happen and bring this to some, some closure in terms of the original and the initial phases of this project. And then, who is here? Peter Kent. Peter. Peter Kent, our director of communications, is here. Did I miss anyone? I thank you all for coming and standing alongside me. I frequently talk about the marathon that we're running, yeah. and I have a, an A-team, as you do. We talk about our A-teams that run that marathon alongside us. So. But we didn't call your name. Let us know, and the next time we have a press conference, we'll be sure to include you. Thank you.